We will be moving. He said be a mother. <laughs> but all you wanted was a bath alone. I smell so good. I'm gonna give you some influencer insiders. I'm making food right now and it's from HelloFresh. This is not sponsored. And let me tell you a secret, right? These companies reach out to me all the time, right? And they're like, do you wanna work with me? And I just say no. I, I, I say no to some things, I say yes to some things. And unfortunately, <laughs> this is gonna be so corny, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. They reached out, but they didn't have the right budget, right? However, at some point in time, somehow they got my address and they sent me the items. And um, I was like, okay, let me try it. When I saw the delivery, when I saw the food, I was like, oh, this is good, good. So I'm currently making the food. I'll probably do something at the end of the day, maybe. Um, I think I'm gonna do something on Instagram for them. But I can tell you, I'm an infomercial queen. Don't send me good products because I will talk about it and I will use it. Um, so I am enjoying my brunch a la HelloFresh, which is on the go and it's so creative because I tell you now that I wouldn't be mixing up some, you know, what's this, pears with cinnamon or toasting almonds on a Tuesday afternoon, but I'm gonna do that today. So, I've already gotten through this. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, to be fair, because look at me doing brunch in an afternoon. Good. back to being a work day and I'm back in my studio. It's been a long time since you guys have been in here and it's because it was a mess, didn't do anything, wasn't organized, but she's back and she's back with a bang. And I love the idea of organizing spaces based on use. And can we come over here to the corner that is the world of beauty? I now have an executive assistant. I also have two people helping me with social media. And it's just amazing that I can now like free up some time. This was a mess. I even have my equipment and all this stuff, all I organized here. And you know my exercise bike, not Peloton, still here riding dusty because I don't get on that bike. But just seeing my space done like this, it makes me so happy. And then on this side, we have, it's not finished, we've not finished. This is my working desk area. I had got rid of this, but I actually I've just put it back, set it up and I'm working here and it's a vibe. I even have my standing desk situation, not quite finished. I will finish it, but I have some ideas of stuff that I wanna do here. I'm getting a desk over here for my executive assistant. But, oh my gosh, even people like me really struggle with space. And like, part of me is like, do I want a bigger house? Do I want to move country? Um, do I want to do all these different things? And sometimes you gotta learn to like make do with what you have for current season. Um, I will be moving, we will be moving. Um, we almost bought a house last year. We were this close, no, further, I think we were, we were still discussing offers this year. We were gonna buy a new house and actually should give you an update on it. And it was gorgeous and it was like 8,000 square foot and it was in a dream area and it was like a dream house, like mansion-y, you know, staircase and all that jazz. And we made the decision not to go. We, like literally, we had the mortgage approved, we had everything done, but it felt like you're really putting roots down here without trying anything else. So exploring the world 
first while our kids are as young as they are is something we really know we want to do before um like really commit into that forever home and whether that's the us or the dubai or dubai or portugal or wherever we're kind of discussing now and we're just like working through things logistically especially as i've got some things great things going on here as well in the uk so just balancing it all but I think that I kept feeling like I just need a new house. I just need a new home. But I had to learn to like make do with what I have when I know that in the back of my mind, there's dreams and stuff that I really want to like make happen. And what's been really interesting is, you know, I've lived here, been a homeowner for six years. I own other houses and it's great. But also the thing about home ownership is it, it, especially if you've got like large homes and large commitments, it doesn't give you that flexibility and freedom that you may want to explore. And life is long. So I really believe in exploration before really, really committing. And I think a lot of people look at me like the girl who has it together, the girl who's, you know, bought a house, you know, investment. Great. Love that. But also there's part of me that's like, you know, an explorer, I'm quite daring, I want to try stuff. Good afternoon, guys. Today is, it's so exciting because it's International Women's Day and I've had the amazing request to go to the palace for a really good cause and meet the Queen concert and we'll begin, we're going to be discussing really amazing issues that impact women. This is actually not my first time at the palace but i don't think i've ever showed you guys i don't know if i'm allowed to bring the camera in normally you're not allowed to like you're not allowed to take selfies inside the palace you're not allowed to like do that kind of thing but i might bring my foot camera and see if like the police tell me that i can't have it i don't know we'll see but that's what is going on today so yeah and actually since obviously at the queen queen the queen queen passed away it's like the first time i think i've been anywhere near like the palace or anything like that. I never really go down there. And um, the UK is a new queen. So queen consort, I believe. And not a royalist or anything like that, but if there's an opportunity to have my voice heard at things that are impactful and I can talk about women's causes, represent for my community, you'll find me there because we need seats at the table tell you that for free and it's not every day that you get invited to see the royals going to take you through my entire hair care routine a lot of people have asked what i'm wearing and how i wear my hair so i'm going to walk you through i am back to what they call a traditional sewing honey and i got caught in the rain today and this is what my hair looks like kind of straight but kind of afro -y. i have very little of my own natural hair out and i've got some great bundles in as well and my own hair is kind of out at the side so I can lift my hair up and the peppercorns are peppercorning. So I'm going to walk you through my entire kind of wash day, which I will try and do probably weekly um, when it comes to my hair. This is meant to be my downtime. No, genuinely. You know what, yeah? <laughs> this is the reality. Ah, what do you have no. You know, yeah, I've seen them, Grace. I've seen them. I've seen them. <laughs> She's so proud of herself. <laughs> I'm I wanted to have a beautiful, relaxing, calm bath. <laughs> And you put your LOL dolls in my bath. 
No. Sorry. Sorry. This was a bathroom. They said be a mother. <laughs> but all you wanted was a bath alone. So I'm going to walk you through my hair routine now that I'm a girl in a flexible weave. I do have leave out and my hair is natural. So my main focus is to make sure that I make sure my hair is nice and clean, but also strong by using like protein based products and just making sure that I take care of this segment of my hair. And I try to separate what I use on my hair versus on my hair extensions. So you can see that my hair is very different to the hair extensions, but I'm going to show you how I make a seamless blend. I use a scalp serum as well as heat protectant. <laughs> And then I'm using the Duet Style from GHD. I use this on my real hair and my hair extensions. And it's magic because it basically takes your hair from wet to dry without damage. And it works gorgeously for this beautiful blow dry effect. But also when I use it on my actual hair, I find that I can get a really nice blow dried look. And I don't need to use as much heat to style my natural hair. I basically do a hold and a number of passes that really makes the water evaporate from the hair. This is me using the drying setting. So you can see I take my time and it evaporates the water. Understand that it has two settings, a drying setting and a straightening setting. A few passes, a little gel and my hair is done. I am ready for the evening. I literally just filmed my hair routine. This is like my finished result, but I wanted to show you why I love a weave with leave out. The flexibility is unmatched. And the one thing I can say is I genuinely feel more like I look like myself when some of my real hair is out. Let's keep it real. A lot of people ask me about this. This is the GHD Duet Style, which I use to basically dry my hair and style my hair from wet to dry. And people ask, how does it work on my real and my natural hair? amazingly it's like a blow dry but with stretch it is a it has a drying setting and then a straightening setting you are not like well you're kind of straightening and drying at the same time but it's not like hot straightener plates that you're drying your hair with it is blowing air that dries your hair really amazing technology shout out to ghd i've been an ambassador for so long this is like my fourth year because the products are really good and they're really safe for your hair and i know some of us need 400 degrees to get our hair straight but that is not healthy right and for me, I will use it on my leave out. And then I might use like a little hot comb or something or an edge comb to really stretch it out. But you know, I'm not for my hair. <laughs> Listen, we need to get you straight or whatever. I smell so good. Ah! I smell divine today. Really excited to go to this event tonight. I'm actually going as a customer versus an influencer, um, which is really interesting. So I'm gonna get like an inside scoop. And the reason being is I just spent loads of money with them. <laughs> I spent loads of money with them. The sales associate is amazing. I saw the, I, I, I'd never really shopped in Ferragamo before. I walked past them on Bond Street. The visual merchandising was out of this world. It called me to come inside. And then I was like, I was, I was irritating. And I look crusty. I look dusty, crusty, broke, and not like, not high end, right? Nothing, but everybody treated me so much respect. I was in awe, I was like, I want that, I want that, I want that, I love that, I love that. Then the sales associate came and he's like, so will look amazing on you. Here's some pictures. He showed me a picture of like Dua Lipa wearing a, a set and I took that set. He sent me a showed me a picture of, of Zendaya wearing this set. I got the set. We were trying on shoes and bags. I was in there for like an hour and a half. Now, there was no, he didn't know who I was. There was no guarantee I was gonna buy anything. I could have just been trying on everything and walked out the store, but I ended up spending money. And then like they sent me a little, um, like a little card and they were like oh there's an event if you want to come as a customer come along so that's what i'm going to today so let me show you my outfit so this outfit is so fire it's just so fire it color changes and yeah yeah i feel fabulous and i've got my Hermes bag which i actually think goes really well like as a like a little nude bag they've got an orange bag and stuff but i was like i'm not gonna do matchy matchy and i had spent so much i'm not gonna buy a new bag but i might buy something tonight because 
I'm in love. Anyway, ciao. I'm actually off to meet the founder of Kayali, which is Mona. Um, I'm so excited to see her. I even followed her stories today and I can see she's in London. We're just gonna do a catch up, maybe do some TikToks, but I know they have a new fragrance. So I'm hoping she's gonna give me a bit more information in that um, or about that. And one thing I'll say is that I don't normally go to like PR -y kind of pressy events as much as I used to. It's just a time thing. But I was like, you know what? I'm trying to be outside just a little bit more. And this is like a great op. So I was like, you know what? Let's, let's catch up. Let's do something. Um, I want to see how she smells. See, see how she smells? Or I want to smell how she smells. <laughs> um, no, no. I want to smell how she smells. Yeah, that's the right one. And just have a catch up and have a girly chat. So we'll see. Good morning. I'm in Germany right now doing a speaking engagement. Once in a while, your girl is on stage. Um, something I actually don't mind doing at all. I love talking about the creative economy. I love talking about the industry. I love talking with like being able to represent really great brands. Um, and I'm here for the Amazon Creator Summit. I'll be doing a really cool pa panel with some great people. I often don't prepare that that much because I do love to speak off the cuff, but I have notes. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a review beforehand. We're in Berlin and this hotel is suave, very suave. Berlin's not a place on my list. I'm actually, you know, I've been here once before. Germany in general was just not on the list of places to go. However, it's giving vibe and I'm actually really liking it, but I'm ready now. And this is my outfit for the day. I've actually made a vow to stop wearing black all the time. I wore black all the time. Like if, if I'm bored, if I'm tired, I just put on black. But I realize you look more put together when you wear brighter colors, especially if you wear whites or creams. And I felt like my black was literally just a cop out and like i'm not doing it anymore i'm gonna wear color and i'm gonna wear white because why not um means that i just feel like i look more fabulous you know so yeah weave gang has entered the chat and so has erica entered the chat as well hello, so hello. yeah <laughs> 